Hey guys, welcome to Webstyle Press. So you bought the Boya BY M1 mic and it's not working in PC or smartphone. I will share information that will allow you to understand Boya BY M1 mic's functionality and operation. I will show you how to connect Boya microphone to PC even with USB. Boya by M1 is not a USB powered mic but it's a popular choice among many creators and YouTubers for voice and sound recording. It's a good budget microphone. It comes with a pin connector that can be plugged into PC, laptop, camera, camcorder or mobile phone. As you can see, I have attached it with PC by using USB. I will show you how. In BYM1, I guess BY stands for Boya. It's not by if you have been using USB powered microphones, Boya BY M1 mic will be a different experience for you. Its use is also kind of tricky. Boya mic is plug and play, but you have to follow certain steps to make it up and running. When you will buy Boya mic, you may ask questions like these. Where its clip will be placed? This is the clip. This is the clip and it's separate, you'll have to place it like here. And after that, you will place the foam over the mic, like this one. And at this place, you will place the clip. And which setting should you choose to record audio from PC, laptop, or mobile phone? These are the settings. Cameras, off, slash, smartphones. Right now this is turned off and uh, if you switch it to cameras it will turn green and it will be on. Like this one, this is the setting. You can switch this setting to cameras or off slash smartphone. So you will wonder why there is a slider switch at it that says smartphone and cameras. Should you use battery with it or not? It comes with a battery. LR44 battery. This one. And it goes inside this cylinder. Like this. And can it be used with a laptop straight away or should you use a separate connector? How can you monitor your voice during voice recording? Are there any additional smartphone settings to use with Boya BYM1 mic? So as I have told you, you will place the clip here. And for the settings, just ignore this off. Off slash, ignore this off slash. This is confusing. Just focus on cameras and smartphones. For smartphone, you need to switch off the microphone. Slide the on off up to off slash smartphone. Slide it down in this position where you will be able to see a red background in it. This is the position for the smartphone only. The power is shut down in this way. And then for the laptop, PC, camera, slide the on off switch up to cameras here where it will be turned on. For laptop, PC, cameras, this switch should be upwards and at the camera's position. And right now at this position, it will be used with the smartphone. These are settings that you need to choose depending upon which source is being used to record audio. You can plug the mic directly into smartphone where you plug headphones. Mic can be used directly with the laptop. If not, you can always use a basic audio interface or extra connector. If you want to monitor the voice 
while recording over laptop or PC, you can use a separate interface. That can be a basic audio interface with audio and mic connectors. Plug mic and headphone source in that interface and that interface will connect with the laptop by using a USB. You need a battery inside Boya BYM1 and here is how you place the battery inside mic. That is it for the clip, the camera and smartphone switch, the battery and the connectors. Now let me demonstrate an additional setting in smartphone apps that you need to know. Many users try different things, use the mic switch at cameras or smartphone setting but they cannot record their voice by using a smartphone with Boya by M1. Here is something that you need to keep in mind. Keep the mic switch where it's written smartphone or precisely off slash smartphone. Here at this position. Smartphone. App will have mic settings. It may auto pick up mic or it may ask for mic source. One of my smartphone app asks me to choose between back or front mic. I choose front mic and then it picks up the mic source and records audio. Let me demonstrate that. So I have got these two apps audio recorder and RecForge 2 and if I open the audio recorder and if we see here you can see the quality and then here is the mode and these are recordings and if we go to settings uh, I can see the microphone test here and file storage but there are no additional settings this kind of app will auto pick up the Boya microphone and you don't need additional settings with it but if you choose to use any different app like Reg Forge here we can see these are the settings and as you can see you can select this source and in source I have got front microphone or back microphone so you will have to select the front microphone to make your Boya work with the smartphone so precisely you will keep the setting for the switch at the smartphone not at cameras at the smartphone it will uh, it's the turned off position of the switch and the background will be red and then if the app offers settings in the source then choose front microphone then your Boya microphone will work with your smartphone I have other videos on mic review and comparison. Go check them out as well. Links are in the description. Even if you are not a YouTuber, creator or sound artist, you can still use a budget microphone to enhance sound capture quality during calls, meetings, while using communication apps with friends and family. Having a microphone is a great investment and when so many budget microphones are available, I think you should get one if you can. That's it for this video. I share tutorials at this channel. You can subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.